Let G be a connected graph of order three or more, so G has at least three vertices. If G contains a bridge, then G contains a cut vertex. This is a straightforward corollary of a theorem that we proved in a recent lesson, stating that an end vertex of a bridge is a cut vertex if and only if the degree of that vertex is greater than or equal to two. So we'll use that theorem, and it will help us pretty easily prove this corollary. If you're not familiar with that theorem and its proof, check the description for a link to that lesson I mentioned. And be sure to give this a try yourself before watching the rest of the lesson. Try proving it. Hopefully you've given it a swing, and we'll move on with the proof. So we're assuming that we've got a connected graph with at least three vertices. We want to show that if the graph contains a bridge, then it must also contain a cut vertex. So let's say we've got our bridge, which is an edge E, joining vertices U and V. So this is a bridge of our graph G. We want to show that since G has a bridge, and it might have more than just this one bridge, but it has to have at least one bridge, we want to show that since it has this bridge, it must have a cut vertex. And of course, there's more to this graph than just this bridge, but for the purposes of demonstrating this proof, we really only need to focus on the bridge. In order to prove that G has a cut vertex, we'll prove that at least one of these end vertices of the bridge E must be a cut vertex. And thanks to that theorem I mentioned, all we'll need to do to show that is show that the degree of u is greater than or equal to 2, or the degree of v is greater than or equal to 2. As long as at least one of them has a degree greater than or equal to 2, that vertex will be a cut vertex. And again, that follows from the theorem I mentioned earlier. If the end vertex of a bridge has a degree greater than or equal to 2, then it is a cut vertex. So let's just go ahead and prove the claim. Firstly, note that the degree of u cannot be equal to zero, and the degree of v cannot be equal to zero. This is because they're adjacent to each other, so we know that both of their degrees have to be at least one. So we know that neither of the end vertices of our bridge has a degree equal to zero. Thus, the degree of u is greater than or equal to 1, and the degree of v is greater than or equal to 1. So we're almost at our desired result. We just need to show that at least one of these degrees has to be greater than or equal to 2. So is it possible that the degree of u is equal to 1 and the degree of v is equal to 1? Let me change these relations here. Is this situation possible? A little bit of thought makes it clear that this is not possible. We know that because our graph has at least three vertices, and the graph is connected. So there's at least one other vertex here in the graph we could call W. If both U and V had degrees of 1, that would mean that they're only incident with this edge E, and so there cannot exist a path connecting either of these vertices to W, which would mean the graph is not connected, but we know it is. And so we know that both U and V cannot have a degree equal to 1. It could be possible that one of these vertices has a degree equal to 1, but they can't both have a degree that's equal to 1, because that would imply the graph is disconnected. Thus, we have that the degree of U is greater than 1, or the degree of V is greater than 1. At least one or the other has to be true. And that's the same as saying that the degree of u is greater than or equal to 2, or the degree of v is greater than or equal to 2. And therefore, we don't know which vertex it is, but it doesn't matter. We have just proven that u or v must be a cut vertex of the graph. And again, that's because they are both end vertices of this bridge, E, and at least one of them has a degree greater than or equal to 2. So by the theorem I mentioned earlier, at least one of them is a cut vertex of G. And again, you can check the description for a link to a proof of that theorem. Thus, if G is a connected graph of order 3 or more, and G contains a bridge, then G contains a cut vertex. 
I hope this video helped you understand how to prove this simple graph theory result. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.